That's, I mean, you just watch, you know, the heart and soul that's kind of gone into these events this year, and you can see Courtney Conlogue's role and just the journey that she's been on the last year and a half, and you can't help but feel fired up. But, you know, you look at the other ladies in this heat at the moment, they want it equally as bad. A lot of these girls have just been on such different roles, such different journeys, and it's beautiful just to see them competing in these conditions and just have, you know, the last event coming, uh, coming down to Maui at Honolulu Bay. Well, here we go, some movement in the lineup early on. And it is going to be the surfer in white taking off. Keely Andrew, nice first turn from the Queenslander. She bashes the lip once again, has been putting in plenty of time out here in this lineup, trying to find a comfort zone. And she's found it on this ride. A couple of strong turns, looking for a big finish. And she likes it. It feels good. Just on 25 minutes and 40 seconds to go on the championship, on the QS. She'll be joining the big leagues next season. Here we go. What a way to open up a heat. I mean, Keely Andrews really putting out some time in the water during the free surfs and now just really putting that into the heat situation, testing out equipment. And here you can see her winding on through to the Kahiki Bowl. Bangs it off one more time. You can just see she's fired up to be competing here. The lineup gets cleared for these ladies and they get the run of it. And Keely Andrews opening up this exchange so beautifully. Love that style, that tucked in knee. All right, let's see how Courtney performs straight into the barrel. Oh. And oh, she wow. has picked off a gem. She was a semi-finalist in this event last year. And she is setting up the tube once again on the inside here. Doesn't find that cover, so goes to the rail. Throws the fins out and brings it through to the inside, just bashing this wave as she looks to post an excellent score to get her campaign started in the first round amazing tube ride i cannot help myself that was so beautiful just the answer back there from courtney we've been talking about you know that pressure and just watching how the ladies perform round one you know what what's going to happen and I watched um, courtney competing here last year perfect tens she's competed here as a wild card and been impressive this place must hold such a special place in her heart and now the 2015 season coming to a close you see her just straight under that lip coming out into that carving maneuver and just setting up looking for something extra special here on this inside section and then opening up a little bit hung up on that turn but then cracks it a few more times on the inside does that layback maneuver that power shining through so great right from Courtney watch as she just well, Strata Wasilewski enjoying the best view from out there in the channel. How did it look, the takeoff on that ride, Strata? Uh, it doesn't get any better, honestly, just to watch her glide in under the hood, grabs the presents from under the tree and comes flying out and unwraps the rest of them all the way down the line, finishes off on the inside, puts it all together, lights up the tree. I mean, are you kidding me? That board she's on right now is a backup to the board that I'm holding on to out here in the water. Right, a 7.5. And it looks like we're going to see Coco oh, put her first number up. She swings. And just gets that tidy tail release on the first maneuver. Tries to transition on the second turn, but can't get any momentum out of the lip. She gets caught behind. A couple of strong maneuvers as we see Keely Andrew now on her second wave. Maintains that down the line flow. Not over committing at this stage to the rail as that wave shuts down and Courtney picks off the third wave in the set now she drives off the bottom under the lip straight into the barrel has such a good read on this section of the wave and finds some more cover before sneaking out the doggy door that small opening at the end of the ride Courtney wanted to show herself once again reappear let the judges know that she was in control it's so fun to watch it's so fun to watch it and it's it's fun for us and hell for them at times but it looks like Courtney's enjoying herself out there at the moment what a setup snap under the lip here she goes again finds some more cover has to negotiate around Coco Ho impressive from Courtney Conlog double barrel on that last wave about a heat and a half behind Carissa Moore going into the the final event and I think the big area where Courtney's improved is her flow she sort of really smoothed her surfing out. And we'll see more of that as she moves through the rounds. But here we go. This is Keely Andrew with plenty of speed. Moving through to the inside. Keiki Bowl. She's going to get caught up. Got 
think it's fair to say that the Conalog fans are online and watching this great performance from the Californian. Almost catches a rail to start this one off, getting some speed. She's going to kick out. Can't see herself improving on a 6.9 with that wave. So she gets out of there. 14 minutes to go. Courtney back out in front. Keely Andrew in second spot. Only needs a, an 8.34 to jump up into the lead. And Coco Ho, she needs a bigger number, a 9.66. I think he's in Courtney's camp, but definitely uh, the Hawaiians getting behind Carissa, it seems. She campaigns for a third world title. Just on seven and a half minutes remaining. And let's see if Coco can get herself out of combination here. Well, she's not in combination, actually. She only needs a 9.66. She's got a strong first turn to get started on this ride. Drives off the bottom end of the lip once again. Just gets a little hung up there for a minute. And she is really just looking to put a stronger score on the board than the 6.17 that she was holding onto to narrow the requirement at this stage because that's not going to be a 9.66. Well, just on six and a half minutes to go. And Keely Andrew paddling into what looks like a beautiful ride. She gets some speed up for this first turn. She's going to drive off the bottom. Looks for a barrel. Doesn't get particularly deep. Now she'll put the board on rail. Winds through a smooth carve. And this one's starting to stand up. There's a strong maneuver on the inside. And it digs in once again. Just a nice sequence of turns to finish this wave. But there was a lot of downtime on that ride, Rosie. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Maybe the timing just a little bit off. But as it hit that Kiki ball, we mentioned how it kind of swings at you and gives you that opportunity to get vertical. She definitely made the most of that um, last section of the wave, but it was that beginning part that she really needed to stand up and, and get those points on the board. I know we're going to have a look at the replay and we can really break it down. But Carissa, Courtney. They'll attack the lip with those transition turns and maintain that down the line flow when they can't get the tube. Yeah, you've really got to be able to adjust in this wave. You see she's setting up for the barrel there, gets a quick little shack, comes around, gets that rail to work. We mentioned here a little bit of downtime. She's looking for something, able to hit it up into the lip there. I like this wave from Keely. I love that style like I mentioned earlier. And this is where that section kind of comes up at you. And gives you that opportunity to peel off a couple turns so a well surf wave from Keely Andrews she's learning this wave as she's going along yet no hasn't had that much opportunity to adapt to to what the wave's going to present and, and give and offer her but she's really reading it really well I'm enjoying the way that she's fitting those maneuvers in just over four minutes to go it came through at a four a, a 5.07 sorry so a 5.07 and Keely's still chasing an 8.34 the lead still being held by the current world number two on the Jeep leaderboard, Courtney Conlog. Oh, if Coco or, or Keeley gets a last ditch effort, that round number two is just really nerve wracking. None of these ladies want to find themselves in that one. Keeley Andrews. Keeley in the recap here, this is her first wave. And you can see that the big numbers came from those strong maneuvers from the outset. A 7.5 for this ride, Rosie. Yeah, really enjoying the way that Keeley is reading this wave. But Courtney Conlog just opening up with this barrel ride. So sick. So sick. Sets it up for a second time, trying to fight the shade there. See the way she drags that arm to slow herself down and just bangs that lip. Just looking so in control and so comfortable with her surfing at the moment. Lays it down there. And this is her second ride. And again, finding cover on the outside section. Set up an inside tube as well for a 6.9 on the backup. And he's sitting out front on a total of 15.83. It's been selective, just two rides, a 6.17 and a 6.4. She still needs a big number, a 9.43 to jump from third to first. As we see Keely up, Keely looking at that one down the line saying, no, nah, there's not an 8.34 in this wave. I'm out of here. It's been a really consistent year for Courtney. But she finds herself chasing the Hawaiian as we see Coco now on a beautiful looking wall. Strong first turn. This way starting to run away from her. And she doesn't get back out in front, but that first turn was money. And Courtney's left out the back with a minute to go. Looking to improve on a 6.9. Strong first turn. Drives up into the pocket again. And starts to build some speed down the line. Looking for a solid finish here. That Kiki Bowl just 
lurching up towards her. She bashes the lip. Not sure if that one will go into a top two. It'll be close. So they are, they're great rivals on so many levels as this one comes to a close. <laughs> yeah, as you, you mentioned, these ladies just really just going for the Courtney just doing a body check there. She has a couple bumps and lumps that have uh, seemed to be troubling her. We mentioned that she did have a run-in with someone yesterday. Courtney's mom on screen, Tracy, she mentioned that they were actually in a car accident coming back from the airport after dropping Courtney's sister off and um, um, Tracy actually snapped her wrist on the steering wheel. So, you know, it's been a pretty stressful couple months for Courtney and her family. It's, it's, it's been a ride, that's for sure. But Courtney, she is on track here at the Target Maui Pro, a 16.5 heat score total, one of the strongest of the morning.